Meow. That was going around this anime man. So if you're an anime watcher on the internet, then I'm sure you've heard of this thing called Mao, which is short for My Anime List. Pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't know, it is a website where people can create profiles and make their own anime or manga lists. Most weebs use that website just to basically keep track of the things that they've watched or the things that they've already read. And there are a lot of little cool things that you can do on My Anime List, but one thing that is quite interesting is that you can not only catalog the anime that you have watched, but you can also rate them. It's just a standard rating, a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being terrible, 10 being amazing. But basically with a My Anime List account, you are free to rate whatever anime you have finished watching or perhaps not even finished watching on a scale of 1 to 10. It is completely up to you. There might be one person who thinks that a particular show is a 1 out of 10, but that same person could give a terrible show a 10 out of 10. It's really up to them. It is up to them until uh, someone with authority aka your boy, comes along and decides to uh, check out your My Anime list. So I asked you guys over on Twitter to send me your Mal Anime lists and I will look through them and rate you on your anime tastes because that's not going to start a war in the comments. Now I'm just going to say this up front just in case that some people are too retarded to figure it out on themselves. Obviously that whole thing about me being an authority in the anime community is a joke. This is just a little bit of fun, a little, a fun little roasting session, if you will, it's for you guys to see, you know, what people think about certain anime series. Because I've always been curious, you know, I, I go on and I rate a bunch of shows that I think are amazing or I think are terrible for different types of ways. But it's always interesting to see what the fans think, what you guys think about the shows that I watch and ramble about. So if you do get picked for this particular video, then uh, take everything that I say with a grain of salt, alright? You are free to like or dislike whatever the fuck you want to like or dislike, so yeah, let's just get that out of the way and go and roast some bitches! Alright, let's start off with my boy Evan, uh, he's, he's another Anituba, he, he said fuck me up fan, Evan I'm about to fuck you in the ass, so bite down on that pillow fam. Alright bro. alright. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, what is this? What is this? What is that? Nah fam, I, I knew your tastes were shit, but... That? Hell no. It seems like you've seen a decent amount of shows though. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that. I'm, I'm going through right now. There's like, what, two, three hundred maybe? Yeah, so you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give you points for that, my boy. Okay, let's check out the tens that you've given. So you gave Akira a ten? Okay. Tsubasa Chronicle? Uh, all right. Erica Seven? All right, I'll, I'll give you that. Gun School, Mushishi? Okay, these are all completely justified. I, I, I'll give you points on that. All right, bro, we got to... <laughs> We gotta talk for a second here. We gotta talk for a second. Mirai Nikki, 10 out of 10. What are you, a 14 year old? Okay, I don't really know the legitimacy of this list, considering that you've given 43 shows a 10 out of 10. Because to me, a 10 out of 10 is a show that is like so fucking unforgettable and so flawless in every single aspect that there isn't even a single thing that you can nitpick at. And I get it that you've seen a lot of anime, but I think a 10 out of 10 personally is something that you should reserve for something that's like really fucking special. Either like, you know, there's a huge bit of nostalgia that is connected to it in some way, or it truly is a one of a kind fucking show. But this boy gave fucking Erased a 10 out of 10. Clearly, you didn't watch past episode 8. And yeah, I mean, the, the lowest score that you've given is a 5 out of 10, which is not even that bad. Like, a 5 out of 10 for me is like an average show. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really know the legitimacy of that. I think you should go through, my boy, and, uh, and double check, because uh, this, for example, needs to be much lower than a 6, that's for sure. Alright, moving on, let's check out uh, this one right here. I dare you to say my taste is shit. Alright, alright. Challenge accepted, my boy. Okay, my boy's got that custom list. I see you. I see you, my boy. All right, let's see what you've given a 10 out of 10. Mononoke Hime, okay. Uh, five centimeters per second. Bakemonogatari. All right, all right. I I'll accept these, sure. Durara. All right, Fate Zero. Nisei. Uh, Danshi Koko Se. Okay, okay. Not bad. Psychopaths. Sakurasa. All right. Log Horizon. All right, my boy. All right. You're doing pretty well so far. I'll give you that. All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta... I gotta- I gotta call the anime police right here, bro. What's this? What is this? What is this? Noragami Season 2? 
10 out of 10. The first season was better, and a first the first season for me was a solid, like, 6 out of 10 at least. Oh, okay, hold on, bro. Your, your taste is shit. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. You gave Fireworks a 10 out of 10, bro. Look, I get it. You're probably a huge Shaft fanboy considering that I've seen a number of the Monogatari series seasons in a 10 out of 10. I get that, my boy. I love the Shaft as well, but you gotta admit... Uchiage Hanabi was fucking whack, bro. And look, I've made a whole video explaining why Fireworks was probably the biggest disappointment in anime movies in the last couple of years, so I'm not even gonna go into that detail, but clearly this is a fucking Shaft fanboy who just loves this shit. And so I think that's why he was trying to like, you know, challenge me with like tasty shit because this boy clearly knows that I love me my Shaft and uh, and, and Araruki stuff, so. And let's see, you've given three one out of tens. You've given, okay, Mars of Destruction, that makes sense. Bakugan Battle Brawlers, never heard of that. And School Days. Okay, I can see why you've given at least Mars of Destruction, because Mars of Destruction is fucking terrible. But School Days are 1 out of 10? Bit harsh, isn't it? And look, I've been that kind of person who has been so wishy-washy about how I feel about School Days, because it is, like, at first, when I first watched it as well, School Days for me was like, uh, nah, that's pretty whack. But then, I kind of had that revelation of like, no, maybe it's just so bad, and so, I guess, backstabbing for the audience to see it end that way, that it's genius in actuality. Like, it, it depends on how I feel. Some days, I look at school days and I'm like, is this whack? Or is this just, like, so whack that it's genius? You gave Batum a 2 out of 10, dude? That's a bit harsh. I, I, I mean, Batum wasn't amazing, but it's 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 at least a 6 for me. It wasn't that terrible. Okay, hold on, what is this? What What is this? Why, why, why? Why, why would you put yourself through that pain? Why, why would you do that to yourself, my boy? Just watch it once. It's more than enough. You don't have to watch it again, dude. It still sucks. Okay, let's check out this one. I think you'll find that we are best friends. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, I like this like custom look you have going here. It's like, see, this this is a designer right here. This this is this is a guy who's taken love and passion into his list. But let's see what you've completed. Okay, you got NGE, you got Bakemon Gato, you got K on season two, Steinsgate, Hyoka. All right, yeah, really good shows in a ten out of ten. All right, I'll give you points for that. And see, look, this is a man right here who understands the importance of a 10 out of 10. See here, there are only nine shows that he's given a 10 out of 10. See, I think that's the right amount of uh, of, of shows that you should give a 10 out of 10, because it is really fucking special. And honestly, like, other than maybe Konosuba, all of these shows are pretty worthy of a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, Konosuba was really good. I wouldn't call it a 10 out of 10, though, because there were some like, slight problems with it. Uh, same with Tamako Love Story as well. Like, but there are at least a good like eight or nine out of ten but everything else dude all right this boy's got some good taste i'll give you that and this boy has finished a lot of shows my god that's wow what have you given a one out of ten citrus all right that makes sense uh death march yep okay that makes sense is the guy smartphone yep all right uh, this one I wish. Oh, the show bitch. Okay, yeah, that wasn't very good either. The Doreku, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And 3D Kanojo. All right, that makes sense. Oh yeah, I also love how uh, you can add uh, comments as well of how it was. For example, he gave <laughs> this boy gave Monster Musume a nine out of ten and said the pinnacle of edgy shows. Also about the only source of spider ludes. Uh, this boy clearly hasn't read Kumo desu ga nani ka, so get on that, my boy. <laughs> I love how with Uma Musume, he gave a 7 out of 10, which is a very generous score, but he just said, fuck yes, horse girls. That's exactly how I felt about Uma Musume as well. You know what, Coronal Panic, if that is how you pronounce it, you know what, I think we can be pretty good friends. Your, your, your taste is pretty good. Anime man approves. Alright, let's see here. He said, oh boy, am I gonna regret this? I don't know. Let's see. Alright, let's sort it by score. Let's see what you gave a 10 out of 10. This person has only given 9 shows a 10 out of 10. Hajime no Ippo, okay, Bible, but... <laughs> Alright, yeah, you're my boy for that one. <laughs> you definitely do like the more, uh, mainstream shows, though, that's for sure, because you got, uh, Parasite, you got Stain's Gate, you got Gurren Lagann, Death Note, Gintama. Not saying that these shows are terrible in any way, but, you know, I can definitely see the, uh, the, the style of shows that this boy likes. Oh, and he's only seen 48 shows, and he gave Guilty Crown a 2 out of 10. You were doing so well until I saw that. How in the fuck, how in the fuck do you think that Akamiga Kill was better than Guilty Crown. How in the fuck did you think Fairy Tale was better than Guilty Crown? Did we watch the same shows? 
Guilty Crown, yes, didn't have the most solid ending in all of anime, but up until the last couple of episodes, it was a pretty fucking solid show, you gotta admit. Yes, for a lot of people, the ending is the cake. It's not even the cherry on top, it is the whole cake for some people. If it ends terribly, then the entire meal is ruined. I get that, but how did you think that a show that has been consistently shit for over a hundred episodes was worse than a show that was only bad for two episodes. I don't see that. I, I, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Roasted. Moving on. Okay, here we go. Let's check this one. I'm gonna regret this. Yes, you will. Everybody does. Oh god, what is this layout? Why is it like sticking out like this? What the fuck? Okay, first of all, I'm gonna have to fucking roast you on the way that you've, uh, you've squished everything together like this. I don't know if it's just my fucking, like, web browser, but I've refreshed this like three times and it still looks like this, so, uh, yeah, you got minus points for that. Okay, the 10 out of 10s that you've given is is is, is interesting. It's an interesting choice. Uh, I, clearly, this person is more into the, uh, the 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 weirder variety of shows, considering the fact that you have Gaku and Handsome there, and and not even Gaku and Handsome the show, just the special as a 10 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> you gave Clan out a 10 out of 10, and yet you didn't even rate Clan out After Story, even though you finished watching it. Time to update that. And you gave Skit the Inai on 8? I don't understand this person's tastes at all. It's it's really good for one end and then the other end is just like, I had a stroke. Okay, this person claims to have top tier taste. You got the triple T, my boy? We'll see about that. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, I trusted you. You said you had top tier taste. What is this shit? Why did you think that was top tier taste? Why? The lowest score you've given is a 6 out of 10, my dude. I mean, I get it. You just want to watch good shows. You just want to watch decent shows. You want to watch shows that you think you'll enjoy. But you've also got to... If you want to if you want to evolve that taste, my dude, you got to watch the shitty shows as well, my dude. You got you got to give some time to just watch the really terrible shows and figure out why they are fucking terrible. But no, instead of doing that, you go ahead and watch actual shows that are shit and think that they're a 9 out of 10. Like... <sighs> this anime community, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna have to check this guy's list out, because he straight up said that SEL is trash. This is gonna be a shit show. Okay, the shows that he's given a 10 out of 10 are, like, the most, like, safe shows to give a 10 out of 10. They're, they're the shows that are all popular, the shows that everybody has watched, so... Not surprising there. And he's only watched 29- 30 shows! So... You thinking that SEL is shit. I don't blame you on that, dude. You, you're not even like a fifth of the way to even thinking you'll enjoy SEL. You gave Erased an 8 out of 10. Yeah, this person has clearly only been watching anime for maybe a year, tops, probably. You gave Perfect Blue a 7, when Perfect Blue is easily the best Kon Satoshi film ever made, so it should be at least a 9. But then it's confusing because you gave My Hero Academia a 7. Not to mention, this boy hasn't even seen SEL. He went out of the way to say that SEL is trash. My boy hasn't even seen SEL, so shut up, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's get this one. I'm ready to get shit on. My poop is ready to land on your face, my dude. Wow, first of all, this, uh... This- this list. They have really fucking customized this shit, my dude. God damn. I didn't even know you could do this. Kind of, like, looking at it. Like, wow. But you know what's a sad thing? As pretty and as cool looking as this show is, still can't hide from the shit taste. Still can't hide it. May God have mercy on your soul. I literally just started watching Seriously this year. If you wanted to rate a newer user's ta trash taste. Alright, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, don't think that you automatically have trash taste, alright? Like, you, as you said, you only started watching anime this year, so I'm gonna rate you, or I'm gonna judge you on what you have started watching, as opposed to your shit taste, because I think you're at a stage yet where you, you haven't quite developed a taste yet. Okay, first of all, the fact that you gave the fucking 19, the 90s Berserk adaptation a 10 out of 10 is, uh, already, you're doing pretty alright for yourself, my dude. You've also got Clan After Story there, Hunter Hunter 2011, you got, uh, the Origairu OVA, all in a 10 out of 10. Dude, like, it's not bad. Not bad at all. What, also, what the hell are you talking about? You're a new anime watcher. You've seen 169 shows. That's barely new. If you only seriously started watching anime this year, and you've seen 169 shows, that means 
with my calculations, you'd be watching one show every three to two days. Yeah, that's that's seriously watching it, alright. You gave Mirutites a 6 out of 10, which is just... Alright, I guess whatever floats your boat, bro. <laughs> Ooh, you gave Devilman, Crybaby, and Bucky a 6 out of 10, my dude. Yeah, we can't be friends. <laughs> Alright, you know that if someone with the username Anituba TV says that he has perfect taste, he or she has perfect taste, then, uh... I'm gonna be harsh on my boy. Okay, he's only given two 10 out of 10s, and that's Death Note and Sakamoto Desuka. That's an interesting choice, alright? <laughs> I see you, my boy. But you gave Monster a 9 out of 10, so hey, you know what? That's a good start. What is the 1 out of 10 that he's given? Oh, there's only one. Ichiban Ushiro no Daimao. Really? You didn't like that show? I actually thought it was alright. It's a very old show, don't get me wrong, like, you know, early 2000s, like Harem, uh, you know, I guess the kind of the start of the isekai genre, it was in the isekai genre before it was an isekai, but, uh, well, I guess it's just like a fantasy genre if you think about it. I mean, it wasn't the best, it definitely wasn't the best show out there, but it's, it's not that bad, honestly. And yeah, this boy gave Devilman Crybaby a 3 out of 10, so clearly he doesn't understand taste if it was served to him on a silver platter. He also gave Keijo an 8 out of 10, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you liked Keijo, then I don't know why you didn't like Ichiban Ushiro no Daima, they both have just the same amount of ass as each other. I rate super high, well, then I'm gonna judge super high as well. Okay, yeah, look at the amount of 10 of, out of 10s this boy is given. Look at that. 45 shows are 10 out of 10. Come on, my dude. Wait, if you rate so high, then what's the lowest rank that he's given? A 2 out of 10. Not even a 1. A 2 out of 10 on Blue Drop Tenshi Tachi no Gikyoku. Which is a show I've never fucking heard of, but it sounds shitty. Yeah, I can definitely see how you rate very highly. You gave Fuka and Clockwork Planet a 6 out of 10, which to me, both of those shows are like a, a 3 at least. Watamode a 6? Yeah, that's another 3 for me. Don't say booting the Crime Edge though, you didn't rate high enough. That's because that's like a 9 for me. Oh, but at least you rated School Days at a, at a, at a moderate level, you know, at a more acceptable level in my opinion, so yeah. That's, that's really interesting. I, I, I have no idea if you have shit taste or if you have just a really like weird look at how you see anime. And again, what is this? What is the- what is that? What is that? That's too high! Too damn high! The proper rating for Tokyo Ghoul, Route A, is- is- is not 10 out of 10, but Route 10 out of 10. Like, it, it's pretty fucking low. The show title should already have given you a clue as to how you should rate this show. Can't wait to be famous, or infamous, depending on how your list is. Let's check it out. Okay, my boy's given, like, a nice little background on it. Alright, I'll- I'll give you props for that. Okay, you know what? Concerning your 10 out of 10s, I'm gonna give you props. I'm gonna give you props because you've given some like really underrated shows a 10 out of 10. My boy gave Sangatsu no Raiyon's second season and Tsuki ga Kire a 10 out of 10, which to me it shows that you this person has seen a lot of shows. This this person has seen a lot of shows and has really fucking decided on like what really struck through to him or her. So I'll give you that. And also even your 9 out of 10s are not too bad. Akira, Azumanga Dayo, Fully Kuli, Higurashi, Grand Lagan, Bakemonogatari, Suzumi Haruki no Shoshitsu, like these are all really fucking good shows. So I'm curious to see what you gave a low score. You gave Grand Blue a 2 out of 10, my dude? Really? The only show I've ever stopped watching in the middle of an episode, at 6 minutes into episode 2, the room decorating scene was insulting to watch knowing they expected me to find that funny somehow. How was that not funny, my dude? That- <laughs> that scene was fucking hilarious! To be fair though, it was much funnier in the manga, in my opinion, but the anime did a pretty good job of, like, kind of showing off that, like, slight weirdness to the comedy of that show. I, I feel Grand Blue is one of those shows that is very difficult to get into if your style of comedy doesn't lean towards the weird style of comedy. But in saying that, it's weird because my boy has given Azumanga Daio a 9 out of 10, and they're technically the same type of, like, weird style comedy, like, the, the type of, I guess, just very strange style of comedy, so I don't, I don't understand why you didn't think Grand Blue was funny and you thought Azumanga Daio was really funny, at least funny enough to get a 9 out of 10. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video, um, obviously I couldn't go through every single person on this list or every single person who replied to this tweet because I legitimately got over 2,000 of you motherfuckers sending me on my anime list, so 
if I were to go through everybody's, it would have literally taken me all fucking day. And I, I know you guys aren't going to sit through a video that long. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, this was super fucking fun. So, uh, thank you to everybody who was brave enough to send me their my anime list accounts. Uh, let me know again what you guys think about any of these things. And you know what? Just to end it off, because I gave so much shit to people on their anime list. Let's go through my anime list. Let's let's go through your boy's anime list just to show you guys how fucking trash his tastes are. God, you know I haven't updated mine in a hot second considering that uh it says that I'm still watching Eromanga Sensei. <laughs> so Fuck me, right? I genuinely don't even know what score I gave any of the shows, so let's check it out. Alright, you know what? Concerning these, like, 10 out of 10s, I still feel very strongly about all of these. Um, whether it be a sense of nostalgia, or whether it just be, like, how I feel about the shows. Like, obviously, you know, movies like, you know, first Pokemon movie, Hesse, Tanuki, Gassen, Pompoko, Lupin the Third, Kageliostro, and Shiro, like, those are fall more into, like, the nostalgic 10 out of 10s for me. But, there are also shows for me, like, Fully Cooly, Serial Experiments Lane, Mononoke, Bakano, which I genuinely feel are on a you know, constructual sense of like how anime is built, how storytelling is made, music, characters, all that kind of shit, really is fucking flawless. And you know what? My boy has seen a decent amount of shows. I've seen almost 500 shows, and this hasn't been updated in a very, very long time, so I... Don't worry, guys, I know what I'm fucking talking about. What have I given a 1 out of 10? <laughs> Sword Art Line 2, yeah. Pupa, Muscle Goku and HH. Wow, I've given a lot of 1 out of 10s, bro. <laughs> I've seen some shit shows, my dude. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It's crazy. Even though I've seen so many shows since then, and my tastes has, have obviously changed on some shows, just going through this list, I still kind of agree with how I've rated all of these shows. So, I guess, you know what? I'm not going to go through it in detail. I'll leave the link, though, to uh, my anime list down in the description below. So, you know what? Why don't you guys go check it out for yourself, and let me know in the comments below how shit my tastes actually are. And, uh, yeah, I should probably update this list soon. <laughs> but, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys who did link me on my anime list over on my Twitter. And if you would like to participate in another video like this, then the best place to do it is to follow your boy over on Twitter, so come and join in because all I do is like it. Anime tits and memes. It's, it's a good time. And yeah, guys, again, uh, don't go to any of these, like, my anime list accounts that I showed off and, like, leave nasty comments about, like, oh, your taste is shit or whatever. Just let it be. This is just a little bit of fun. You know, let's all be respectful about everyone's opinions, okay? Even though this whole video was very disrespectful to everyone's opinion. <laughs> but, you know, your boy doesn't mean any harm in that kind of stuff. This is just a little bit of fun. So, I appreciate you guys for watching until the very end. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, like a favorite. If you enjoy, subscribe for more new banter. Keep watching anime. Johnny!